What's up, people? It's your boy there with AKA Fresh, and this is Showbiz News, where we bring you the top gist making the entertainment round. So let's get right into it, real quick. Naira Mali, Zlatan Ibile, and others are still under EFCC custody. Now, guys, you know, over the weekend, Zlatan Ibile, Naira Mali, and three other guys were arrested by the EFCC following the post that Naira Mali put on social media, which was in a sort of way encouraging the Yahoo Yahoo boys. Now, Zlatan Ibile and Aramali have been under custody for over three days now. Speaking with the head of public system media, Tony Orilade of the EFCC, said that Naramali, Zlatan Ibile and three others are still under custody and that they are still undergoing questioning. He said when they will be released, we shall know. Now, Ghanaian actor Chris Atto's wife, Betty Jennifer, was assassinated in her workplace parking lot over the weekend. Now, sources say that this was linked to the fact that Betty was still married to her ex-husband, Kendrick Jennifer. Now, Kendrick Jennifer was convicted by the police and sentenced to 20 years in prison for the possession of cocaine and distribution in the town. Now, over the weekend, Chris Atto was shooting a movie all the way in Los Angeles when he heard about this news and he had to fly back to Maryland where it happened. Now, people say that he's not safe in America because his ex-wife was linked with a drug cartel. Now, the information is still coming out and we're still going to find out if exactly this was why she was killed. And over to the foreign news, R. Kelly's daughter forced to drop out of college. Now, Joanne Lee, who is R. Kelly's child, said that she was forced to drop out of college because her father refused to pay the tuition fee. She was ready to register for some courses, but she realized that she was owing a backlog of payment that the father didn't make. Now, the father said that he would have made the payment if he had seen statements of payment because his daughter didn't deliver him with any of these, so he felt she intentionally dropped out of school. Now, the daughter says that she's waiting for her father to make this payment so she can go back to school and she will never look at him the same way until he pays the fees. So the daughter doesn't want to have anything to do with her father anymore. This was after the release of the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly. Now, over to movies. Now, this week, we're talking about Cold Feet the Movie. Now, this movie talks about a retired colonel whose wife fell into temptation by meeting an old fling. Now, this movie is out here to bring you intrigue, suspense, and a bit of drama. Now, it has a stellar cast of Eina Ewigwe, Jim Ike, Shegwa Rinze, Femi Adebayo, amongst others. Now, this movie was directed by the one and only Moses Ewang. It was a Steve's Productions, and we hope this movie rocks your world. Now, over to the music scene. This week's video is by Tenny the Entertainer. She calls this one Sugar Mummy. Now, Tenny decided that she wanted to change the perception of Nigerians of how they see sugar mummies in Nigeria. So she decided to put this great music together and the video was also grand. Now, the song was produced by Rexy and shot by Prior Gold Media. Now, it has over 170,000 views on YouTube already. So if you've not seen the video, go out there and look for it. Well, this way I call it wraps on the news today. It's your boy Devil, aka Fresh. And if you think you have anything to say, hit us up on our WhatsApp number scrolling on your screen and send us an email. You know how it is. I'm signing out. See you next week. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.